channel. I hope you're having a great day. I have a beautiful new Beltress. Well, it's not a new wig. It's a new color from Beltress I want to show you guys. But before I jump into it, let me tell you about this beautiful topper I am wearing. This is the John Renault Top Smart Wavy 18 inch. It is a synthetic topper from John Renault. The color I am wearing is 24BT18, which is also known as the color Eclair. So um, if you need a new topper, this is a really pretty one. I just did a review on it, so I decided to keep her clipped onto my head while I talked about this new wig from Belle Tress. Again, sorry, it's not a new wig, it's a new color. <laughs> so I think I've actually reviewed this wig before. This is Cold Brew Chic, um, a heat defiant wig, but the color is the new fun part of it. This is Brown Sugar Sweet Cream. So uh, this is, it actually is a little bit darker than my camera is showing. It's really picking up on the blonde in this wig. But overall, it's like a medium brown color and then it has blonde running through it. And I noticed um, most of the blonde is in the back here. Um, see right there, there's not as much blonde and then there's a lot of blonde here and then maybe not as much here. Um, but it does have a very, very slight root. I don't even know if I would call it rooted. It's just so subtle, but the highlights definitely don't start right at the root. They come down a little bit before you can start seeing the color variation in it. I don't know if you can tell that. So it's not quite a rooted piece, uh, but it is a teeny bit darker root. Um, again, I'll have to put it on and see like where the color falls um, around my face. But anyway, back to the wig itself, Cold Sheet Brew. This is, uh, again, a heat defiant piece, so you can style it with some heat products. It is hand tied. It has a mono top and a lace front. Uh, it's an average cap size. The short bang right here is about five and a half inches. Um, overall, it's at about a 12 and a half inch length, and then the weight is 3.3 ounces. All right, I'm gonna go put her on so you can see the new color. Be screenshot ready. Here are all the details on Belle Tress's Cold Brew Chic. Okay, here she is. This is Cold Brew Chic HD. Um, again, with almost every Belle Tress piece that I review, I always have to comment on the fibers and how silky and wonderful they feel. They are not coarse feeling at all. Um, the Belle Tress pieces don't have a ton of volume to them. I know that, um, or I noticed that they lay pretty flat. Um, so you might have to get in there with your fingers and kind of work up some volume if you wanted a little bit of oomph on the side there. Um, but just the silkiness of the fibers make it uh, lay just a little bit flatter, but it doesn't look super wiggy or like I have helmet hair or anything like that where um, some thicker, bulkier pieces um, may feel that way. This is very lightweight and very comfortable. Um, it's fitting exactly where it needs to on my head as far as the ear tabs and everything goes with that. So the fit is great, the feel is great. Um, so something interesting I am seeing here is in the front, it is very, like you can see just these really light, light pieces right here in the front where it's not like that anywhere else. It looks like it's just very highlighted um, in the front of the piece. Now I'm thinking they did that because when you have light colors in the front, it disguises the knotting. So you can't see in the lace front here where these blonde pieces are, but you definitely can see the knotting um, a little bit further back on the darker pieces. So I'm guessing that's why they did it. However, it kind of looks random that it's, you know, dark brown, dark brown, whew, blonde right here. I mean, it could look intentional. I know some ladies do like to do light streaks in the front. I'm thinking if they balanced it with a few more of this color piece, like throughout the cap and maybe a little bit more here. Of course, this is a mono top. You couldn't move the part. Um, it might kind of help balance that color a little bit. Just be aware that if you do get this new color, brown sugar sweet cream, um, it's going to have this blonde streak in the front. So otherwise, it's a beautiful color. It is dimensional, um, just a very slight root on it, um, but overall a medium brown piece with maybe um, some like caramel pieces running through it. Um, I think it, it is more on the warm side than the ashy side, um, just with that rich brown that's in it. Um, but there is some blonde running through it. So it is a dimensional looking piece. I think it's beautiful if it could just maybe just blend a few more of these light blonde pieces throughout. Um, again, I totally 
get it because when you have a dark piece in the front, you can see the knots on the lace. So I'm able to swoop this up and wear it off my face where if it had a dark knot, I would definitely want to wear it down like that. Either way is cute. Just be aware that you're going to see that streak in the front like that. So, okay, let me, uh, well, before I do a 360, I can't quite get an ear tuck with that bang. It's too short. So, it's going to fall out. So, just be aware it's a very um, thin, I mean, it's pretty thin. It's not even thick enough to kind of do a swoop. It's very wispy like that. Um, but the length and the way it's layered is very cute. I think it's a very um, wearable style. You know, it's not super long, you know, a lot of hair, anything like that. It's just a very simple kind of everyday look, if this is something uh, that you typically would wear. I think it's a super cute cut um, on the wig. So let me do a 360. So this is the, I feel like I have to bend down a little. This is the left side, the back, the right side, and then the front. And again, I don't know if you saw in the back that it was a little bit lighter. There was more blonde highlights in the back than there were on this side. So I don't know if that's specific to this piece or um, if this new color is gonna have a little bit heavier highlighting in the back, not quite sure. Um, as far as styling goes, because it is heat friendly or heat defiant, you could use a curling iron or straightening iron. I wouldn't go any higher than uh, 250, 275, just so you don't um, kind of wear out the piece faster, make it frizz or anything like that. But you definitely do have the option to add a little bit of wave in here. Um, you can straighten out the ends if they start to get a little uh, frizzy or frayed, but overall a very cute look and a beautiful new color. All right, if you need cold brew chic HD in your life, head on over to wigs by pattysprawls.com. The manufacturer is Bell Trust. The piece is cold, I want to say cold chic brew, but it's cold brew chic. And then the new color is brown sugar sweet cream. All right, I will see you guys next time.